join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, March the 25th, 2021. I'm James Spann. Again today, we have a potentially dangerous, severe weather situation setting up, especially for the northern half of the state. Let's go right into it. This is the upper air look across the country this morning. We've got troughing west of the state with very strong wind fields that will be going negative tilt later today, providing a diffluent flow aloft across the region, adding in the upward motion of the atmosphere. Now, a lot of rain this morning. That was the radar early this morning, about 430. And that's with a warm front lifting northward. And of course, immediately people will say, will that mitigate the chance of severe storms later today? Probably not in this case. Temperatures are mostly in the low 60s. We're expecting highs in the upper 70s, maybe touching 80 in spots later today. There is a wind advisory in effect for a pretty good chunk of the state today and a flash flood watch in effect for the Tennessee Valley where they're going to see some heavy rain. So here's our severe weather outlook. And we've got a risk of severe storms all the way from the Gulf Coast up into parts of Ohio and West Virginia. And obviously the focus is on that high risk and the moderate risk, level five and four, across parts of the Deep South. This is the probabilistic outlook for tornadoes. And you can see the high risk features a 30% chance of a tornado passing within 25 miles of a given point. And we have that large hatched area running from central Mississippi and central Alabama into parts of Kentucky. That means the potential for significant, strong, violent tornadoes. This is the damaging wind probabilistic outlook, and you can see a 45% ring over much of north and west Alabama. That means about a 50-50 chance of damaging wind within 25 miles of a given point. That's very significant. So in Alabama, we've got that high risk for the northwestern part of the state, basically from near uh, Athens down to about Aliceville and points west, level 5 out of 5. We have a moderate risk, level 4 out of 5, down to Gadsden, Alabaster, and Linden, an enhanced risk down to Prattville, a slight risk down to Troy, a marginal risk down to Ozark. And again, don't get too hung up in the colors, the numbers, and the risk areas. Just understand there is a very significant chance of severe storms, especially for the northern half of the state. And we'll talk much more about the situation here in just a second. This is tomorrow. We've got three marginal risks across the country. Uh, one for the northwestern corner of the state, one for the southeastern corner of the state. Uh, that southeastern corner, that's for any lingering storms early tomorrow morning. That northwestern part of the state, that's for storms that develop late tomorrow night into early Saturday morning. Uh, again, maybe some small hail and gusty winds, no major threat. And this is day three. This is Saturday. Uh, we've got a risk of severe storms for parts of the Mid-South and uh, this includes a level 2 out of 5 slight risk for Huntsville, Decatur, the Shoals, a marginal risk as far south as Aniana and Jasper. And uh, this is for a warm front lifting north. We don't expect any tornado issues, but there might be a few storms again with hail and strong gusty winds Saturday afternoon for the northern quarter of the state. Rain for the next seven days. Parts of the Tennessee Valley could see in excess of 5 inches. Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, between two and four inches, under one inch for the southern part of the state. So here's the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid today at four. There's your negative tilt trough north and west of the state with dynamic support. A surface low under 1,000 millibars over southeast Missouri, and obviously that's a very favorable position for severe weather here. This is the high-res NAM, valid today at two. And again, at that point, we've got discrete Thunderstorms that could be supercells forming over the northern part of the state. Six o'clock this evening, the concern is over that northwestern part of Alabama. That's in the high risk area. We'll take a look at some of the severe weather parameters. This is the instability. Numbers that exceed 2,000 joules per kilogram over parts of west Alabama. Very high for March. Shear values, very high. This is the storm relative helicity, zero to one kilometer. That'll set the updrafts into motion. And the STP values are still very elevated, uh, very high values across parts of north and central Alabama. And this, by the way, is the HER valid this evening at 9 o'clock. Things kind of evolving into a line with the threat being damaging straight line wind. So in terms of the timing, 
the main severe weather window up in that high risk area, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. Northwest Alabama, the central part of the state, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, 1 to 11 p.m. And then Montgomery, Greenville, Troy, Opelika, 7 p.m. to midnight. And so again, it's the same ask we have for you today. Be sure that your friends and relatives and neighbors know about the threat. Be sure they have a way of getting warnings. And once we get into severe weather later today, if they are in a polygon, you know somebody in that polygon, do us a favor, call them or text them. Back us up because they might not be watching. And we'll get through it together as we always do. So tomorrow, everything is out of here. The sky becoming partly to mostly sunny. Maybe a pretty decent amount of sunshine, a nice day, the high mid to upper 70s. Now, this is Saturday. The front moves back up as a warm front. And we'll be in the low 80s, a lot of clouds around with a chance of showers, mainly for the northern half of the state. And maybe some thunderstorms, maybe some strong storms over the northern part of the state. We don't expect a tornado risk. And then Sunday, the front moves back south as a cold front. And we'll have a chance of showers again, the high Sunday, low 70s. And then Monday, the better chance of showers over the southern half of the state. This is Tuesday. We're dry with low 70s. Wednesday, a cold front approaching. That might bring some showers Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night. This is a week from today, Thursday, April 1st, troughing over the eastern half of the country into cooler, drier air mass dropping in. But for now, we're not expecting severe storms next week. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday, April 3rd, big upper low over New England, and we are dry and pleasant if this verifies. This is rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble for the next 15 days. This valley through April 9th, the mean between 4 and 5 inches. Highs mostly in the 70s across the board. We will be a bit cooler toward the end of next week with highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s. And the CPC outlook, this is for April 1st through April 7th, showing temperatures around here very close to average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. No afternoon Weather Extreme video today because we most likely will be in tornado coverage. So again, be very weather aware today. And we'll get through this day together. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today.